Think Green by Christine Taylor Butler. Illustrations and pictures by Valentina Baloney. Ms. Gallick's class is learning about our planet Earth. They learn that the planet provides all the things we need to live. Food, water, and air. To be healthy, we need to keep our planet healthy. How can the class protect the planet? They can think green. The class learns about the three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce means to use less of something. Less paper, less water. It means don't waste. Reuse means to use something over and over again, like wrapping paper. Save it and wrap another package. Recycle means to send back those bottles, cans, plastic jugs, and papers so that they can be remade into more bottles, cans, and paper. Next, the class divides into three teams, a reduce team, a reuse team, and a recycle team. Each team will make a poster telling others what they can do to reduce, reuse, or recycle. They will all learn to practice green habits. Sally is the leader of the reduce team. Her team shows the class how to use less energy. They say, turn out the lights when you leave a room and turn off the TV when no one is watching. Sally's team learns that the planet is running out of fresh water. They show the class how to use less water. A barrel can be used to catch the rain. Then the rainwater can be used to water plants or the grass. Robert is a leader of the reuse team. His team learns that plastic bags can get into the ocean and harm the fish. Robert's team tells the class how to reuse. Use cloths, bags for shopping, they say. The bags can be used over and over again. Robert's team also shows the class how to save paper. They use both sides of a piece of paper for schoolwork. They also save scraps of paper to make art projects. Gabriella is the leader of the recycle team. They learn that trees help make fresh air for the planet. Gabriella's team brings blue recycling bins to school. They tell the class to separate the paper and the cardboard and place it in the bins. Recycling paper and cardboard could save many trees. Gabriella's team also learns that Americans throw away millions of bottles each day. The team puts recycling bins in the classroom for separating plastic and glass too. The plastic and glass will be sent back and remade into new plastic and glass items. Now, Ms. Gallick's class is ready for one more project. They will make a garden. They will plant vegetables and flowers. The plants will provide food and help clean the air. First, the class must clean up the schoolyard. They put on rubber gloves and head out to pick up trash. They separate the plastic, paper, glass, and cardboard and place each into the proper recycling bin. They are careful not to touch broken glass. That job is only for grown-ups. When the class finishes cleaning up, it is time to prepare the soil and plant the seeds. Soon, the students have a clean schoolyard and a brand new garden. They have learned many good habits to help the planet. Can you find ways to help the planet too? Well, friends, I really hope that you enjoyed the book, Think Green. I have really enjoyed these stories about the earth and the sky. 
This story was amazing. It helped us learn how we can take care of the earth. Can you think of some other ways that we can take care of the earth? What are some ways that we could reduce, reuse, and recycle at school? What are some ways we can reduce, recycle, and reuse at home? I wonder what would happen if we didn't reduce, recycle, and reuse. What would happen to our beautiful trees? Hmm. Guys, I wonder what next week's story is going to be about. We are going to be on a new unit. We're going to learn something new, something exciting, and something fun. Well, I really have enjoyed preschool every single minute of it. I hope you have two so far, guys. You are getting so big. Well, I'll see you next week for our next story. Love, Miss Shelley.